Hi, my adventurers. Today we're making what I call chicken pockets. These are great for kids. Kids love them. I've made it many times for my grandkids. Any meat you have, in this case, I'm using chicken. Uh, this is a chicken breast, but I'm going to add other um, leftover meat, uh, chicken. And um, put it in a bowl and season it up. You know, that's what I'm doing. And I'll tell you, they really love this. You could use any pastry dough. Uh, you could make your own dough or you could buy um, pastry dough. In this case, I am actually using pie crust dough because that's what um, I, we bought and didn't realize. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You're going to um, season it up as, as with your seasoning. I use all black pepper, salt, whatever, and some powdered seasoning, garlic powder, whatever. I didn't put any onion or scallion in this. I just didn't necessarily want that most of the kids don't like it and so on so anyway we season the meat up and now we're gonna cook it so we put it in the pan with a little oil you know put a little oil not a lot and you put it in the pot to brown a little bit I just park it, that's what I wanna call it and um I put, I think I had some skin beans and I had it, added it to it, yes. Put up some skin beans, it's a good way for kids. But putting beans in, in a dish like this is a good way to hide them from the kids if they don't like it. So they're eating it but they don't know. Then when the meat was cooked, I added some cream of mushroom. You could add anything else you want. If you don't have cream of mushroom, add a little, mix up a little flour and add it because it's going to thicken it up. And I'm also going to put breadcrumbs in it just to thicken up here. And not a lot of liquid when you're putting it in. But you mix everything up. Put it, let it boil a little bit because you want to um, cook what, you know, make sure, chick, make sure the chicken is cooked. This is some chicken we had. We had made a roast chicken and I cut up all the, took out, you know, debone it, what was left. And added some, this is Napa cabbage. You could add regular cabbage or any other greens. You know, add any amount of greens you want. You could do this with just greens and, and the meat, you know. I also add some mushroom and I added some in there. And you stir it up, make sure everything is cooked. Because then you're going to um, put it on the paste. Yeah, I added some breadcrumbs right here. You can see it on top. Um, because I want it to thicken up. Of course, you know, add little pots of butter. But you don't have to. If you're watching the weight and stuff. <laughs> you don't have to so now it's thickened and we're ready i added a little cheese overdue you don't have to do all this but i added a little cheese because the kids love love that and this is the pie crust that we got and um mix up beat up uh, an egg so this is what you're going to use to um take a brush and cover the top of it so um this is what the pie crust come out like and i cut it in four if you're making them big then you don't have to cut it in four but i cut it in four because you need a piece for the top of course i added more cheese <laughs> you don't have to do all this but this is what i did anyway um i did two type of cheese mozzarella and cheddar and i put a little egg of the egg around the edges and uh, to seal it just like when you're making patties I don't want to call it patty because patty is a different, um, you know, you cook up, you do something similar. It's similar. Anyway, you cover it and then you seal the edges. Make sure you use like a, a, a fork and seal the edges. And you make sure you stick, bore a couple holes in the top of the, 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 um, the, the, the pockets because you need air to come out or they'll just burst on the side and you bake it I baked this for 15 minutes at 350 or was it 340 and before you know it they were ready but when I took these out right here I didn't like the color so I added a little more egg wash and look at them beautiful and they're crispy and crunchy and tasty and all that stuff inside is delicious and delightful in your mouth thanks for watching I'm gonna do one video a day until Christmas. So keep watching.